Today, hello my friends, it's Roger, extremely excited today. We're going to start on to the electron flood theory. I think I have it figured out top to bottom now, and I'm serious, right down to the particle. Now, what he is building here is a nuclear core, and this is what's called electron flood. There's more negatives in, but it's half and half with a little extra negative, and you end up with this. And that is what electrons do in their quantum states. They can be flooded and they will jiggle and they will do all kinds of things creating heat and light. Heat is when they start jiggling around and the more they jiggle the more they heat. Sooner or later they take off into space and when they do that that is what is called light. So right now it's extremely hot and then all of a sudden it will take off and go flying away. It wants to stay and other ones are invading and banging and smashing it, and boom, there it goes, that's light. Alright, I want you to remember these colors. I'm going to show you something and we're going to come back to this. Now we're going to go into this deeply but this is just a quick brief explanation of the pulse red laser light, the glowing ether in the air, the accelerated pulse laser light, uh, laser light being accelerated through a venturi creating Cherenkov Bose radiation crashing into the air of space which is nothing more than the medium that is 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 um, just a flat dead space these are extremely accelerated particles and they highlight a field around them as that charged spinning particle crashes into that dead space of ether creates those little magnetic fields around them now this is a new particle that nobody's ever heard of before because this is a portion of a Higgs field of light now this is 8,000 times lighter than CERN and that is I would say lighter than that so I don't know what to say about that these are the particles that we actually see and this is what we're going to talk about in depth because I'm going to tell you right now that's the only thing that exists right there that's the only thing there is there is no protons there is no neutrons there is nothing but these in quantity with an up and down spin all right this is this these things are hard to work with these magnets so I'm not going to get too involved but you see how I have and they're very nasty looking because I have a hell of a time painting them too. I snapped all over and I, I mean it was a mess I got all over my hands. Anyway, the, you've got the red and the green, uh, red and the blue is your positive and these are your negatives. Now, I showed the, they, they must have an up and a down spin because this is identical to if I turned it over. There is no difference. In, this is a two dimension, but if I had this same exact same thing bashed up to it or on top of it, it would make a block, a four banger, like a square, a, a cube, which I showed before. Now, this can go under here and it'll pull up to this side, but here it pushes, oops, it pushes it up, see? So if I had this one, tip like this and another set of these underneath it would just snap right up there boom and that is your four banger that is a photon that's the smallest photon it's neutral in charge because there's no this one here has a charge that when you add the two of them together underneath woof, you end up with a no charge a neutral let's say I mean there's charges all over the place but it's a neutral in its its presentation to the world. The other ones have a plus and the other side is the negative. I, I, that's all I can say. Or they spin off somehow differently because if I turn this over you're going to see no difference whatsoever. You see what I got here? Blue in these here and I painted the other side with a lot of trouble and they are the other side of the greens and the reds. So if I turn this completely over, which I'm going to have a hard time doing, they're tough these things. All right, there we go. So I got the same exact same thing here. So if I go under with this one or over with this, it doesn't make any difference. If I come up under, there it is. Same deal. No difference. Ooh. Anyway, there. Uh, and, and there's over. I started pushing the whole batch of them back and forth together. It's just amazing how it ends up 
creating different patterns. And as you start making here, let me show you how I, I can only just show you this because I don't have enough magnets to really do it. It's like a Rubik's cube on steroids times a million. There's 1,836 of those pieces. All right, 1,836 of them. Of not, not these pieces, of these pieces. So there's four of each one of those. And there's 1,836 of, of a four banger. All right, so four times 1,836 is the total number of tiny little magnets like I just showed you, or, or magnetic spots. As they add together, you got to jiggle them around all over the place, like you're twisting and turning and sliding. And I tried moving them, and, and, and I had a, well, here, I started working with this stuff here. You know, and, and uh, I'm telling you, you could go totally bonkers in about 10 minutes. But, it, you know, that would use a supercomputer to, because then you'd have, just for hydrogen. And this is just H1, I mean 1H, the, 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 the protium, the, the basic, basic hydrogen is is a chunk of this stuff which is 1836 of these things well 918 and 918 then one addition and then you'll they create a ball like this and then one will be floating out in space around it like this now i'm wondering there might be two because i don't know if it could be that that out of sync and they don't realize it but I guess if we're one bonds the way it does I don't know that's how I, there's some of this stuff I'm not a hundred percent sure of that how right they are because they're so wrong about everything else that I, I, I just gotta really think are they, are they right and the other thing I'm thinking is hydrogen and helium are the only two that are anti-gravity and I say they're anti-gravity because gravity is nothing more than magnetism so they're positively charged somehow more than they are negative because the negative is what pulls to the earth the earth is a positive polar and we know that there's no question whatsoever static pulls lightning pulls electricity of every nature pulls to earth so something's going on there. anyway what I was talking about before is you have the two little plates. You have your black ones and your red ones, and you have your blue ones and your green ones. Snap together, and that is a photon, which is neutral in, in its... Well, here it is right there. It's neutral, and it's the smallest neutral mass. Uh -huh. And it is a small, and it's, I got to think it's like 0.0010966 atomic mass units. That's what it appears to be. And uh, like I say, it's the tiniest mass that is stable. Light will always try to attach to something. You know, electrons will try to add to something, but I guess the positrons are, are, the, are always in the core. It seems to me that the electrons are what comes to the earth from the sun and then there is excess electrons in other words like when you s turn on a, a, a electric circuit it pushes electrons out and it floods electrons into places just like the sun is flooding it onto us uh, nothing more than a wire flooding electrons onto something trying to push it or move it or 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 and, and it opposes it because it creates a field around it as they flow through there it's the nature of of the beast. Alright, I'm going to say right now that this is what the nucleus of all atoms is like. It's nothing but all tiny, tiny bits. There's, for every proton right now, there is 1836 of these little tiny dots. They're like bar magnets. And they all build together inside of one single proton. There's 1,836 of them. Half of them are positive, half of them are negative, just like this chunk here. Now, hydrogen will be this core of 1,837 bits because it's neutral at 1,836, 918 and 918. And 1837 attaches down here. And it says, okay, now I am a negative core. So this guy comes along. He says, okay, I want to stick. And he says, no, 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 you stay out there just like that tractor beam magnet. And that is the nature of quantum. The more you get in here, the more negatives are in here, the more you're going to collect out here, and the more, you know, the more chunks of these, which this is one proton. This is one single proton in the hydrogen atom. That is the electron. We're going to analyze this in detail in extreme 
agonizing detail. Now, you saw what I showed you in those light experiments. It was nothing more than there was a positive, negative, positive, negative in a square. All right? Now, they say, and I can tell you, that I, I agree with 100%, there is positrons and electron, ele electrons, and the, the only thing there is is an electron, but when you turn it upside down, it turns into a positron. So it has to be with a spin. I believe they're correct. And then what that tells me is there's nothing more than one of those. That's all there is. It's either turned this way or it's turned that way, the yin or the yang. That's all there is. And it's a small, and then if once you add two of these together, and I'm going to show you right in a second how they add together, and they make a block just like this. You see the black green, the black and the red here? And then on the other side of the block coming this way, you see the blue and the greens? They smack together and I made a little model. I'm going to show you in a second. And so you have downs and ups. You have the, the black is the down and the red is the down. The up is the blue and the up is the green. So let's go look at, at um, my little model and then I'm going to leave it at this for today. But this, I'm telling you, I got everything down. I, I think I've got it, everything figured out to, right down to the atomic weights, the jumps, the uh, atomic masses, the uh, orbitals, how the uh, electron volts progress from hydrogen up through helium and so forth. And, and, and it all works out, every single bit of it. Now, I can't find any, any detail that is not correct at this moment. So anybody that has anything to say, I would love to hear. I can see already I'm starting to get attacked or trying to think about things that have any anything to do with common sense. So if I don't see enough people interested in this, and because I'm, I'm destroyed in the algorithms. You know, I already have been destroyed. And the only way I can get to have people see this stuff is I get enough people saying, oh, this is great, fabulous, and I get a ton of, of thumbs up. And that just doesn't happen. So I just don't think there's anybody cares. All I find out is the people that, that, that want to assassinate me. So I'm going to change this to a whole other channel, probably, unless I see this happening. I'm going to put this up and see what happens. This is serious stuff, and I don't want to get beat up by people that have no idea what they're talking about, and they just want to pester me. So I, I know I went berserk the other day, and I'm, I, I'm, I'm really fed up with it, so I'm just going to move everything to another un, unknown channel that uh, researchers will go to if, if, if you know nobody's interested in other than this flat earth crap.